Hey guys, this is Matt Grizzly Outdoors. Here's a uh, line of some of the mores I've got. And mores are one of my more popular uh, knife sheaths that I make. Um, I figured I'd go through some of these, some of the differences, and give you an idea of what I currently have. Currently, uh, these two are not on the website. This is the Robust and the Mora 2010. I've got that. We'll go over these quick. And then I'll just some of the specs too as far as for different sheaths. Um, by far the most popular is the uh, more clipper or companion. So it's been used quite a bit. I've got about six or seven of these floating around different places, different vehicles and stuff like that. This is a great knife. Um, robust, very very reasonably priced. Uh, you can pick these up for 10 to 15 bucks on eBay uh, or uh, Ben's Backwoods is typically where I like to buy some of mine from. He's got good prices. Um, this is the older style clipper and it's taped up because these are my mold knives. I'll use these for molds. These knives are virtually the same. Uh, the only difference is a touch. I mean just a hair in the blade length, not much at all. And then the grips. You can see the grip here. This is a smooth. This is, they're both rubberized. This one has a texture. This is more smooth, the updated version. Um, as far as sheaths go, they both fit in the same sheaths. The clipper or the companion are all the same. As far as fitting into sheaths, this plastic, this OD green plastic up front is all the same. Uh, one thing you probably have to do to these knives, as you can see on here, is file the back flat. Typically with the with the polish that they do on these, it rounds it over. So if you uh, just take a sander or a file, you get a good a good spark with it. So highly recommended. These are very good. Uh, the new version. I won't say the new version of the clipper, but the updated, kind of, this is another mold one. So it's taped, I'd keep them taped, is the Robust. Um, this has become almost my new favorite so far. I've got another one I want to test to see how much I like it. But the Robust is just, it fattens up the grip a little bit here. You can see the difference on the two. Everything from here to about here is the same, and that's where all the sheath retention is. So I can actually mold a sheath for the Robust and the clipper fits in just perfect. There's no no wobble or anything. Everything locks in nice. You just have a little more blade play. So I have been molding all of my clippers and everything with the Robust knife lately. So I'm actually going to be retiring these probably and getting a few more Robusts. Just because they work for them all. That way the Robust will fit. So if you order a sheath right now for the Robust, it would fit the Robust, the Clipper Companion, all of those. All the same. And that's currently what I'm doing. So, But the Robust is not currently on the website. Um, but if you order a clipper, it'll be made to fit the Robust. Uh, hopefully by the end of the month again we'll be have that all updated. Same thing on here. It's kind of stamped metal, so you have to go and sand or grind a, uh, a nice square edge, sharp, get kind of a burr on there. Uh, that works really well. But the way this grip, it fits my hand just really nice. It keeps some of the torque out of it. And just really good. Uh, again, blade size. Pretty much the same, and everything fits. But the blade on the Robust, if it's not taped, is quite a bit thicker. So I found for batoning and stuff, it splits the wood a little better. But I haven't really noticed in any cutting, so that Scandi grind really makes a good difference. You see the thickness difference there. So a good option for knives. Uh, next down the line uh, is the Triflex. This has been an old standby for a lot. This has a good rubber grip. I, for some reason, I just haven't really liked this blade style. It just seems small for the handle. So I really I tend to, I have a tendency not to use this one. So this is kind of just a mold knife. I'll tape it up and mold it and fit it to sheaths. Uh, very comfortable, but just seems a little out of proportion for me anyway. But very, very sturdy knife. Very good. Again, all these you want to flatten the back of it. Uh, the new one that came out is the uh, 2010. This is the same handle as the Triflex. Virtually the same thing. But they have the more 2000 blade design. And I really like this blade design for a lot of camp craft stuff. Uh, it allows you to... It, that actually, if you see the blade thins out, it allows you to cut food and stuff like that without the big, heavy, thick blade just breaking it. It'll actually slice into it. But you still have this meaty section of your knife where you can really do some good stuff with. I haven't batoned with this a whole lot. 
I would imagine you might probably dig into your baton pretty pretty harshly with this, but so you get the nice comfort with the nice nice blade design. I really like this because I've used this a lot on my Mora 2000, and the 2000 was almost my favorite until the Robust came out. I like the Robust handle better, so this this handle is going to be pretty close. I've got a lot of carving tests to do with this yet to see how I like it, but as of right now, the Robust is my current favorite with the 2000 second. This may take over the 2000 just because I haven't used it enough yet to know. Uh, this is a 2000. I really like the handle design on this. Uh, it's just just looks good, I think. It doesn't fit the hand great. It's not too comfortable, but it works, so you really don't get any hot spots. Again, it's got the nice blade design. I really like that blade design. Again, for camp craft and stuff like that, it works really well. You can tell when I like a knife is when I make a sheath and actually keep it. Uh, the Robust, I've got one in my pack, a, sec a third one. Um, next up is the 546. This is a great starter knife for, for kids. It has this nice uh, finger guard so your hand doesn't slide off onto the blade. Uh, this makes a really nice sheath. I'll post a picture, but I just did a orange one for this. Uh, just the design of this snaps into the sheath in and out very smoothly. Uh, good, robust little knife for beginners. Small, decent sized handle. Uh, my girls are five and six, and they use this to practice their carving, and they, they do really well with it. They like this knife. And so I gotta find it in different colors for them. <laughs> they don't like the blue. But uh, very good knife. Uh, you can see it's been dropped and chipped several times because they drop it. Uh, it's a good starter knife. Yeah, I think these are like eight bucks at Ben's Backwoods. Somewhere around there. Uh, next on the line, it's the Classics. This is a Classic 3. This is a huge honking knife. This is a great camp knife uh, for cutting food and stuff. Uh, past that, I don't use it much. I've used it camp stuff, but that's about it. Kitchen, it's almost like a big kitchen knife. Um, it's definitely oversized, in my opinion, but it's got its place. Next is a Classic 2. This is one of my more popular ones in the Classic line. Um, just a good size. I love these handles. They're just, the simplicity of them allows you to hold them wherever you want. Uh, this knife gets used quite a bit. It's just a fun fun knife to use. And classic one is a touch smaller. Maybe about half inch or so and a little thinner blade. This is still another good one. If you want something a little more compact, this is a good kit kit knife, you know, something to a spare knife to throw in your bag. Nice lightweight and does just what everything you want. Uh, the knife that I use the most out of all these is the uh, <clears throat> the 2.0 or the 2-0. Two, two this is my uh, shop knife, basically. I, I still do sheaths for it, but this is the first one I grab. It's just perfect little size for deburring stuff and, and trimming kydex and everything else. Uh, this one is a great option. Let's see if I can find it here. I've got a sheath laying around here for it somewhere, but this typically is just laying on the shop bench and gets used. Uh, great uh, sharp edge on it for deburring too. So this is just a good, I think this is an overlooked knife. Uh, when you look at the size difference, it looks a lot smaller, which it is, but it's great for just in your pocket, your cargo pants, um, just a nice small extra knife to throw in there. This is sturdy enough to do a ton of stuff with. Uh, overall length here, uh, just under seven inches with a, about a three inch blade. So it's a good size. For a fixed blade, this is this is really nice. So it's something I would definitely recommend throwing in your kit, guys. It's the Mora Classic 2.0. It's small enough you can throw in your bag and it takes up hardly any space. It's nice, short, compact. And it does a lot of camp craft. So one of my one of my favorites so far in the classic line. So I figured I'd show you those. I've got several, like I said, a couple more robust and a bunch of clippers floating around here somewhere. But otherwise, that's the Mora knives that I can do. Uh, definitely they're robust, but uh, this is, the way this handle feels, this is probably going to be my new favorite uh, pretty soon here. This is pretty comfortable, so we'll see. Alright guys, any questions, any uh, more as you like, like, like me to get or like me to see half here, uh, just let me know and we can work towards that. And 
trying to keep uh, the popular ones on stock so you guys don't have to ship your knives in if you have something you like. So, have a good afternoon, guys. Thanks for watching.